do you think the james webb telescope would really be able to make ground breaking discoveries which could prove theories related to the multiverse find aliens etc why do countries invest so much money into space exploration what's the end goal since we or a future human would never be able to travel faster than light and reach these places in our lifetimes okay the james webb space telescope multiverse no we cannot see what is beyond our universe we don't even know how big our universe is we can only see a small portion of the universe the actual universe is way bigger than what we can see the observable universe is about about roughly 90 billion light years in diameter roughly give or take right beyond that we don't know what there is so we can't even see our own universe in its entirety so how will we know what's beyond our universe so we can never so the, the multiverse theory is not really sci- scientific it's just philosophy it's just ideology it is not a falsifiable theory and that's why it's not a scientific theory so the james webb telescope will show us nothing about a multiverse aliens possibly so this telescope could possibly detect signatures of life in the atmospheres of exoplanets which are planets planets that uh, surround that that are in orbit around other stars so possibly from that perspective we may de- detect indirect evidence of aliens possibly um and the ground breaking discovery that's going to make are that it's going to be it's going to allow us to peer way back into the into the past of into the past history of the universe so it it is going to observe the universe in the infrared wavelength which means that it is going to be able to detect galaxies essentially the first galaxies that ever formed in our universe's history so that's going to show us a lot about uh, that we don't know about right so that in brief is what it is going to do we are going to be observing the universe in a totally different wavelength which is going to open up a whole different dimension of the universe to us and that's going to happen very soon it's summer time now it's it's almost summer so maybe in a couple of months we may have the first proper observations from this telescope which is going to i believe totally revolutionize observational astronomy and the understanding of the universe as we have it right so that's what this telescope is going to do one very much hopes so now why do countries invest so much into space exploration because all of the technologies that go into creating these instruments these rockets these spacecraft these technologies also have other applications they eventually make their way into the civilian domain but they also have military applications and uh, they have all these spin offs right so any new technology you develop let's say for space it's going to have a multi multitude of applications in other domains it's going to make you more technologically advanced and that is always good for any country the greatest civilizations are the ones throughout history that have been the most technologically advanced and that is the, one of the lessons of history we learn from indian civilization itself india was for most of its time period from for most of its history the most technologically advanced civilization in the world and that's why it was the greatest economy so this is all uh, interrelated so if you develop new technologies ground breaking technologies whether it's in space exploration or whatever it helps you technologically and it and if the americans are doing it it means they want to retain their technologically their technological superiority and primacy in the world so that's why they are investing heavily in this and also nowadays space has a geopolitical dimension very soon the americans and the chinese are going to send humans to the moon eventually they are going to stake claim to to parts of the moon they are going to say it's part of our, our uh, it's it's our territory now the same will happen with mars eventually so india also has to ensure it doesn't get left behind in all of these things so space technology has multiple uses in, including military uses which is very important for countries and also space has a geopolitical dimension uh future nuclear reactors could use helium 3 from the moon which is found in great abundance in the lunar soil so they, they, these are reasons why countries are investing so much in space exploration nowadays even private companies like spacex blue origin and so on so that is the end goal it's not a long term end goal it's a more immediate objective to retain our technological to for, for each country to retain to advance its technology to achieve technological primacy in the in the global pecking order 
and to maybe in the future acquire territory beyond the earth which you can then exploit for various purposes so these are the reasons why countries invest so much into space exploration and that's why india also needs to ensure it doesn't get left behind